are so many milks, but which one is best for me? I live in a relatively health conscious, nutrition forward city by the name of Los Angeles. And I keep hearing how cow's milk is bad for me. This one specific line I've heard more than once is, humans are the only animal to keep drinking milk past infancy. While this is true, we are also the only animals to travel to outer space and back, cook our own food, create a network of interconnected communication devices, and take selfies. Wow. So I feel like this only humans do it must be bad for us argument is a little weak. But there is a reason why we're the only animal to do this. Because we can! <laughs> humans are extremely unique in the fact that we possess this semi-quasi superpower allowing us to digest milk into adulthood. Here's how it works. Our bodies produce lactase, an enzyme which breaks down the sugar in milk called lactose into glucose and galactose. But if your body doesn't produce the chemical lactase, then you're classified as lactose intolerant and milk becomes an indigestible beverage of disappointment. However, don't be sad if you're not in the lactose club. 65% of the world's population has trouble consuming milk. But for those who can drink milk, what are the pros and what are the cons? On the pro side, milk contains whey and casein protein, ideal for building muscle and contains calcium, optimal for burning fat. Researchers at the University of Tennessee found in a six month study that those who consume three servings a day of calcium rich dairy products lost more stomach fat than those who followed a similar diet minus the dairy. The study also found that calcium supplements didn't work as well as milk when it comes to burning fat. On the anti moo juice side of things, some of the factors surrounding milk production can be quite a turnoff. For example, Cows receive hormones for increased milk production resulting in insulin growth factor, or IGS, which has been linked to cancer. Not good. The argument here is that IGFs have to be injected into humans to be absorbed into the body. Cows are also given antibiotics to stay healthy, just like people. However, some scientists believe that this makes humans who consume the cow's milk become more antibiotic resistant. Also, not good. The two workarounds buy hormone and antibiotic free cow's milk. So if drinking from another animal's mammary gland grosses you out, you can always replace it with a different form of milk, plant-based milks. But are these any better for you? Soy milk is naturally cholesterol free and contains plenty of complete proteins. Sounds good at first, however, most US soy milk comes from soy made in the US of which 90% is GMO and sprayed with Roundup, designed to kill weeds. Also, the soy used for soy milk has to be heated in order to be processed, and once it's heated, the proteins are denatured and lose their quality. You might also find xanthan gum, a thickening agent in your soy milk. Although it's technically safe to consume, it's also a highly effective laxative. Almond and coconut milk are also guilty of containing thickening agents, while rice milk has its own woes. Rice milk contains three and a half times more sugar than soy, almond, and regular milk milk. Also, if these plant-based milks are store-bought, they usually contain stabilizers, which is basically another word for preservatives, pushing these drinks into the category of processed foods. So which milk is best for you? Well, cow's milk is great, unless you're lactose intolerant. However, you should stick with organic, grass-fed, hormone, and antibiotic-free milk for optimal nutrition. The plant-based milks are also good for you, but try to make them yourself or find a place that makes it fresh daily and consume them quickly as they are extremely perishable. So what kind of milk do you drink? Is there anything you won't touch or absolutely refuse to put in your cereal? Let me know in the comment section below.